So dictator Ron DeSantis, who often likes to sort of evoke the imagery, it feels like, in almost the, the, the movements of Mussolini. I think he's almost sort of practicing. I bet he, I bet he like moonwalks in front of a mirror and does all sorts of things that he thinks will make him cool. Um, unlike Trump, he has like zero charisma and Trump's charisma is lost on me because he's a barbaric, evil, stupid, and the rest. But, but DeSantis is like this dour, angry guy who can't even like make a joke and, and nobody can even like, conservatives don't even like him. So it's kind of interesting. He's shooting to the front of the pack as the January 6th committee is harming Trump. We're going to have to see where that goes. Um, but here's what you should know about DeSantis is he's becoming more of a dictator every day. So if you think, oh, we're great, you know, things are wonderful because uh, it, DeSantis now has a good chance of taking the nomination, nomination away from Donald Trump, think again. I mean, you can just think back to the past. He attacked Disney because Disney came out in favor of LGBTQ rights. And so what did he do? He removed uh, a tax break, a long lasting tax break from them. He tried to harm them financially because they disagreed with him politically. After a number of those mass shootings, the Tampa Bay Rays one night when they played the New York Yankees, both teams, instead of sending out, sending out stats, just sent out stats on gun violence in the country. And the Miami Heat went so far as to advocate over their loudspeaker at a game uh, for universal background checks and red flag laws. Well, what did DeSantis do? They were building a practice facility for Tampa. He now he pulled $35 million and said, we're no longer building it for you. I mean, this is a Tampa Bay Rays and Disney, two companies that employ lots of people and bring in tourism and bring in money to, to Florida. He doesn't care. Um, that's part of his culture war. Again, like it's hilarious that these people once claimed they were pro-business. He will go after any business in Florida that disagrees with him on his hatred for gay and lesbians, his hatred for women and abortion rights, his hatred for anyone who doesn't think that kids should be shot up and murdered in school and that 15-year-olds shouldn't get AR-15s for fun. That's who, who he is. He's a, he's a tin pod dictator. He's an insecure, troll little man uh, who who is empty inside like Trump and like like Cruz and the rest of them and fills that up with bullying and hatred and resentment over the fact that he was born looking like such a little weeble wobble. Okay, so that's DeSantis. But now we have him suspending um, a attorney, a state attorney, Andrew Warren, who's in Hillsborough County because uh, DeSantis came out with this, push this 15-week ban, and the Florida courts are still speaking about whether it's constitutional. Now, Florida has some constitutional provisions protecting choice and privacy. I think it's privacy. Um, so Warren has said he's not going to enforce it for now. So now DeSantis, the dictator, has stepped in and decided he will indefinitely suspend Warren. Think about, again, think about an attack on Disney, the Tampa Bay Rays, the Miami Heat, suspending Warren. You may remember there was a woman who had been in government, I have to look up her name, but left, I think in the health and human services part of, of the government in Florida, who decided that she would keep track of COVID statistics. And they literally raided her house and arrested her because DeSantis couldn't have anybody paying attention. They would know he was committing negligent homicide then. They would know that he knew that people were dying particularly in, in nursery homes and other spots where, where there were more vulnerable people and he just didn't give a fuck. It was all about his politics. It was all about suppressing uh, the information that was out there because he stood up and lied and acted like monoclonal antibodies were easy to get. And back then, they were almost impossible to get. They've gotten to be more, uh, the folks who now get COVID can get them, but they couldn't back then. And they were getting COVID anyhow that they didn't have to get because he was telling them masks didn't work and vaccines were questionable. He's an utter piece of dumb. Do you remember, I've used this before, I think, but do you remember the, the movie Jurassic Park, the first one, Laura Dern, you know, she has to find out what's wrong, why the triceratops is sick. So she puts on gloves and then she just dig her arms into this pile of like five foot high triceratops shit. That's Ron DeSantis. That's who he is. That's how he'll govern. And that's what he'll do to the United States of America. He's awful. He'll be every bit as bad as Trump. And I believe he'll have the instability too because he's so deeply insecure. He reacts by firing people and attacking former allies, attacking organizations. So you should know who Ron DeSantis is. He's so bad, Liz Cheney just came out and said, and again, she's been an anti-Trump Republican, even though she has gone after members of Congress as being wimps and all the enablers of Trump, like Jim Jordan and Marjorie Taylor Greene and the rest. But she just came out and said, Ron DeSantis is too much like Trump. She can't vote for him. 
So clearly other Republicans are starting to look at DeSantis the way he should be looked at. He's exactly like Donald Trump. Guys, if you like this video, please subscribe. Uh, I'm gonna apologize again. I know there's an echo here. We're working on getting a much better microphone. I have a mic in. It is not good. It is the third one I've bought. I've spent actual real money on mics that suck. Um, and I'm trying to get a whole sound system in here that will dampen echo and uh, will be much better. So I'm working on that. Stick with me. Um, I'll keep giving you this great content. Um, we've been going way up 2,400 subscribers the last few weeks. So subscribe, tell your friends to subscribe, turn on your notifications, like things, or jump in and just say, that guy Cliff is such a dick. You could do that too. Um, also, um, uh, comments. Well, I just said that. And, uh, and you know, share with folks. Thanks for being here. Thank you.